Okay, I got a request from Roderick. Alright. Um, Roderick says, Bro, Jimmy, would you mind checking your Discord, please? I left a vid you might be interested in to debunk him. Alright, so I go to Discord. I'm not a big fan of Discord uh, because what happens is I have to log in. I have to confirm that I'm human, then I have to check my email, and I have to click the link, and then I have to come back into Discord, and then I've got to uh, click a couple more times before I'm finally in it, and it drives me nuts. So, but that's okay. That's all right. I appreciate this request. I finally got to it, and I noticed uh, that you got a video here, and before I and persuaded of your thoughts let me sort of share a thought without you know without that influence and so I go to about here 13 so I found a video the assassination of pastor Stephen Darby project blah blah blah, blah. and this is uh, from global spiritual revolution media group I don't know what that is. Is that a is that a CIA operation or I don't even know what this is here. Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group. All right. So uh, from New York, Los Angeles must be very very popular, very big. And uh, I don't know anything about this guy. Uh, 24,000 views and a video he made a day ago. So he's obviously very popular. And so let's listen a little bit to what he has. This is five hours long. Man, I thought I was long winded. I'm going to try to keep this under five hours. Okay? So let's listen to him. Belong to the serpent. The other. Wait, came hold on a second. Let me go back. Just fraternal. This is where we get the term fraternity. So, we get the term fraternity, boule. Boule. So, one of the twins, Cain, belonged to the serpent. The other twin, Abel, belonged to Adam. <clears throat> the other Cain, So, one of the twins, Cain, belonged to the serpent. Okay, did you catch that? Alright, so let's just start afresh, okay? One of the twins, Cain, came from the serpent. Now, did I get that right? And, well, I, I did it without the smile. I hope that doesn't change anything. This is where we get the term fraternity, boule. So, one of the twins, Cain, Belong to the serpent. All right. One of the twins, Cain, belongs to the serpent. Smiley face. Okay. Got it. All right. So, uh, let's go. Twin. Twins. Why? We don't. We don't read about twins till Genesis twenty-five. So let's go. Able. Right, let's just uh, let's go to Genesis four. Now let's just pretend. Follow me on this. Let's say that this is the true word of God. Let's say this is not from man, but let's say this is from God. Okay, and that's what I believe. I guarantee it. So, Genesis 4. Now, you, you either believe this or you do not believe it. You either believe this is from God or you believe this is a lie. That's really your two choices. Do you believe this is true or do you believe this is a lie? And that this gentleman here, Mr... I don't even know what his name is. 
Uh, anyways, do you believe what he's saying, or do you believe what this is saying? Because there is, we're going to see a contradiction here, and they both cannot be true. All right, so let's read just a couple of verses here. Genesis chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. So Cain is a man that Eve got from the Lord when she and Adam mated when they were together you know I don't think I have to explain how that all that works Adam and Eve were uh, getting kissy and uh, she got pregnant and she bare a child a man a, you know a male child and they named him Cain and she said I have gotten a man from the Lord now verse 2 and she again bear his brother Abel so th there's nothing here in my opinion that suggests that they were twins all right, I get it. The argument could be made that while she had two children, the first one was Cain that came out, and then the second one was Abel. I don't believe that, but if you do, okay, not a big deal. The problem is now I'm a little long winded, so maybe you forgot what he said. Let's go back. We get the term fraternity, boo lady. Boo lady. So. One of the twins, Cain, belonged to the serpent. There it is. That's what I got a problem with. Belonged to the serpent. Eve said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. <laughs> it, it, right there, there's a contradiction. You can't get around this. You cannot wiggle your way around this. Eve has gotten a man from the Lord. This fella, very subtly, is claiming that Cain come from the serpent. Now, I'm not going to watch five hours to see if he says, well, the serpent had sex with Eve. I'm not going to do that, but that's what he's implying. All right, and then if you read Genesis 3, I know it takes an awful lot of reading to get to Genesis 3, but if you read Genesis 3, verse 1, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Now think about how subtle this guy is thinking he's being. This is where we get the term fraternity. Bula. So, one of the twins, Cain, belonged to the serpent. <laughs> and smiley face. you got to have the smiley face. Otherwise, nobody's going to believe you. Right? And, I mean, beyond this... There's nothing to suggest that, well, verse 1 is wrong, that Cain actually came from the serpent. You know, whether you want to argue that uh, Cain is half human and half serpent, it's not there. There's nothing, you know, at all. So I can't, you know... I, you know, it's like trying to prove that there's something on the back side of the moon. I can't do that either. It's just simply not there. And not only that, it plainly says Cain is a man that Eve got from the Lord. Right? I have gotten a man 
from the Lord. And unless you think the Lord is Satan or the serpent, and that I've actually heard people claim that. The Lord here is actually serpent. You know, talk about twisting the word of God. Just like what we read in Genesis chapter 3. Yea, hath God said, the serpent gets Eve to doubt the word of God, and then, boom, Eve eats from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and boom, they're naked, and they're shamed, and God finds them and kicks them out of the garden. She got beguiled by the serpent because the serpent got Eve to doubt the word of God. And now, here we are. Are you doubting the word of God? And who's the serpent getting you to doubt the word of God? Yeah, that smiley face is convincing. Yeah, I'll go along with you on that. But... It's in direct contradiction with what the Bible says. All right. So, I mean, there you have it. There's nothing, nothing at all. I mean, we could go Cain, serpent. Cain and his father, the serpent. There's, no, there's nothing there. In fact, you could do this, which would probably be a, a better study. It's just type in Cain, right? And then read every mention and make sure that you understand the context of each mention okay that's to me that's important because I don't like any of this cloudiness that might hang over my head uh, this unsurety I like to be per, you know precise or I like to know exactly what each each mention I like to know the context of each mention. Okay. Hebrews 11. Great chapter. And uh, now here in 1 John chapter 3, verse 12. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one. Alright. Talking about spiritually. Now hold on a second. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain. Alright, again. Um, talking about the wickedness of Cain because Cain slew his brother Abel, right? This makes no mention at all of Cain being the son, the biological son of the serpent. All right, Cain is the biological son of Adam and Eve, but that's not what this fella is saying here. Where we get the term fraternity. Bullying. So, one of the twins, Cain, belonged to the serpent. Belonged to the serpent. The other... Okay, so that's... So you could argue that he's not saying Cain is the biological son of the serpent the twin Abel belonged to Adam now when the serpent and this is what Pastor Darby taught on building foundation the serpent had the ability Pastor Craig to change genders. What in the hell is this guy talking about? The serpent approached the woman as a male. But also approach her husband as a female. Good God Almighty. What in the hell is this guy teaching? We call this a chameleon. I'm going to share. 
share something that many of you new students have never heard before. New students. Well, <clears throat> that's the only people you can prey upon is new students because people that actually read the Bible ain't going to get fooled by this ridiculousness. Come on. your natural body. I'm coming to Dr. Stephen Darby. This is unnatural. Before your fallen state, men, you did not have that object that's between your legs today. Oh, good God almighty. Oh, Jesus. But, Roderick, come on, buddy. What do you got me... What do you got me looking at here? Maybe I ought to just... What? It, it, if... Good night, man. Come on. You mind taking a gander and breaking it down too on your channel? Not my take on it, but actually go to his channel. Listen from maybe 136 to 152. I don't know if I can make it to 152, man. How far have I gotten so far? Whew, I barely gotten a minute into this, man. This is probably one some of the most ridiculous nonsense I've ever heard in my entire life. Today, I want you to follow me. I ain't following you, Jack. Before Adam's fall, he did not have a testicular fortitude. I'm trying to keep it clean. I'm trying to keep it clean, too. Because he was spirit. Before the woman's fall, Eve, she was a name Eve until after the fall, uh, okay, two things here. There's no, there's no way I'm gonna make it to 152. My blood pressure is gonna shoot through the roof for one thing. And this guy, he's everything that he said so far is an absolute lie. He's saying Adam was a spirit. All right, so. Let's take a ganders at it. Before he was a spirit, before he was kicked out of the garden. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs, spiritual rib, not an actual rib, and closed up the flesh, not actual flesh, spiritual. Now, bull loney. He was a man. Adam was a man in the garden. I, you know what? This is simple stuff. This is not rocket science. It, I mean, it's as if you're only going to convince people that have absolutely no idea what the Bible says. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Let's listen to him. This doorknob. And oh, and then he says she wasn't named Eve. Is that true? They didn't call her Eve until after she was kicked out of the garden. Isn't that what he said? Oh, I forgot. Eve evening every okay. Let's see. I'm here, let me do it this way. There we go. Why is it not? Oh, because I got to do this. Okay. And Adam called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. Now, I guess you could you could argue that uh, Adam and Eve were in the garden and uh, she didn't get a name Eve until uh, until they were kicked out of the garden yeah. 
I guess that's fair. I mean, if I'm trying to be fair myself, uh, you could you could make that argument. Uh, you know, but what did Adam call Eve? You know, and this is Adam. You know, darling, sweetheart, sugar plum, possibly. All right, so let's continue. Give her fortitude. I'm trying to keep it clean. Yep, me too. Because he was spirit. Before the woman's fall, Eve, she was a name Eve until after the fall. Before her fall, she did not have a womb which the world calls a clitter. Uh. Uh, so it's true that they they were not instructed to have children until after they were thrown out of the garden. Uh, I guess you could make the case that um, when they got kicked out, that uh, God reformed, restructured their bodies so that they could have children um the issue that i would take is that when you go to genesis 1 and you see that every thing that the lord god had made that lives is designed to procreate uh, and there's no mention at all of Adam and Eve not being made in a way that would allow them to procreate. In fact, verse 27 suggests that when God made man, he made man to procreate, and he also made female, which is Eve. And then Adam and Eve had children, which were male and female. All right. And God blessed them and said to be fruitful and multiply. All right. So in Genesis 2, there shouldn't be any... You, sh you should know your Bible by now and know that Genesis 2 is a uh, is expounding upon what we're reading here in verse in uh, Genesis 1 it's not a second creation or it's not a separate creation this is just going into more detail for what we're reading in Genesis 1 all right and it's not a separate event all right, it's just going, it's a retelling of the same event, essentially. It's going more into detail and explaining the origins of man and the soul and the world that we live in and on and on and on. Okay. All right, what's this guy saying? Doris. In Greek mythology, in Greek mythology, there is a term called smena, which is pinus. Oh, God. What am I listening to, man? I, I don't know if I can take this anymore. Well, he likes talking about pee pees and wee wees, doesn't he? I won't say it like P, but... I'm afraid to listen to any more, man. I really am. I, you know what? I think that's it. I think this guy... I uh, tell you what. You got further thoughts? Um, if there's something more, something exact, Roderick, let me know, and uh, we, we can discuss. This is disgusting. This is just pure ridiculousness, and... This guy obviously is a very smooth talker. 
And he's got a very big audience. And I'm sure he's a lot smarter than I am. But I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Alright, so anyways, I, I appreciate you sharing that with me. Now, some of the most ridiculous stuff. And I, it, it's entertaining, I guess. To see how shallow and misguided people are. But it's pathetic, alright? And in my personal a humble opinion. And I might have to make another video going over this. Or no, let's just kill this one right now. There's actually a lot of evidence to support that the Dark Ages that 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 to support that that Dark Ages one thousand years was the millennial reign. I guess you when you say there's actually a lot of evidence to support that you mean that there's absolutely no evidence whatsoever to support that. That would be my guess. The millennial reign. The, the thousand years. It, the millennial reign's already over, and now we're in this period where this is a complete lack of understanding of Revelation 20. A anybody, I mean, it's unbelievable. It's so many people just want to believe anything, but what is this? The absolute truth, the obvious, simple truth, the very simple, obvious truth. They'll believe anything else but the simple truth. And, and that the history has been hidden from us. And now the devil has been loosed for a time to deceive the whole world again starting around 1800 just before the industrial revolution all right so uh, bull butter that's all i'm going to say bull butter that when satan is loose it's at the end of the thousand years and it's to gather the unsaved at our feet when they are gathered at our feet, that means we are up in the air with the Lord Jesus and fire comes down from heaven and destroys them all. It's the great day of the Lord. Judgment day. The last day. Alright, so it's very simple stuff, but I do appreciate your comments all the same. I really do. It helps to make me sharper and maybe gives me an opportunity to help others as well as to help myself. Smiley face.